Hello everybody, you are seeing here my face, like my, my clean face with nothing but a smile on it <laughs> and some lip gloss. I do have some lip gloss, but today I didn't want to have makeup on. You know why? Não sou obrigada. Não sou obrigada. Juan, escreve aí na tela. Não sou obrigada. You don't know what that means? Put it on Google Translate. Why? Because não sou obrigada. <laughs> I have been working all week. I am tired as fuck. Pardon my French. And today is a very nice Sunday. Today is a very nice day. We still have some sun. It's not too warm. And I'm heading out to Paris. I'm gonna go to the movie theater, watch Wolverine and Deadpool. That's the mood for today. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna either go to Boutchaumont, um, which is a park at the 20th arrondissement of the city. It's a very nice, beautiful park. Or I'm gonna find a coffee if it's raining or if it's too cold because I have my drawing material with me. I'm thinking about a next watercolor painting to make and I'm gonna start sketching it today after the movie, all right? I really need to rest. I need to give my mind some rest. I need to, yeah, I am exhausted, exhausted. I have been working so very much, not only at my uh, like regular job, my nine to five, but also for the channel, for everything internet related. There's the YouTube channel, there's TikTok, there's Patreon, there's tarot clients. By the way, book a, book a reading with me if you haven't already. <laughs> so I am tired. I am tired. I need to rest my body and rest my mind. And that's what we're doing today. Let's go. the movie theater and I'm gonna stop here with some random art behind me to tell you that the movie was very nice, it was very nice, very entertaining. Deadpool kind of talks a lot <laughs> but he makes good jokes, I have to give him that. Um, my favorite part was in the end where we could see uh, we could see scenes from previous movies, X-Men, etc. There was Stanley and like the Wolverine actor, young, also Deadpool, younger. That was really nice to look at. Um, yeah, the movie was entertaining, and that's the that's the the goal, right? To entertain ourselves. Now, change of plans. <laughs> I told my friend Tadeu. Tadeu has been here on another vlog another day. I told them that I am in Paris. I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise. I am at the metro. There's a lot of people passing by. Anyway, so my friend suggested me that we would meet up. Um, I am still getting used to calling Tadeu by the right pronouns because in Portuguese I call them um, a she because Tadeu is going through some um, gender identity like rediscovery and they go by they and she and he as well. 
but I like to call her in, in the feminine. But in English, it's kind of weird because I talk to Tadeu in Portuguese. So, ela, dela, amiga. <laughs> in English, it's kind of weird. So, anyway, I am going to meet her at the Parc Tuileries, which is uh, nearby the Louvre. We are going to just hang out and I'm gonna get his eyebrows done. No, her eyebrows done. <laughs> so, let's go. So I arrived at the movie theater a little bit too much in advance, like 30 minutes before the time of the movie. And while I was sitting there, there was this Russian couple that approached me, wanting information about how to get uh, to some kind of station. And I felt like a local. <laughs> Because like right now we are having the Olympic Games over here in Paris. There's a lot more of tourists, a lot more than usual. And my God, I felt like a, a local, like I was born here. <laughs> that was a cool experience. Okay, now I'm headed to the park where I'm gonna meet my friend, but she's gonna be a little bit uh, later, she's gonna come later, and in the meantime, I don't know, I'm gonna just enjoy myself a little bit by myself, on my own. It's a beautiful day to be in Paris. again I went to uh, Le Parc de Tuileries uh, but over there it is crowded there's a lot of people I think that the region over there is like there's some kind of Olympic game thing related nearby so there's a lot of people the park was not really available um, all the the grass was kind of fenced so we wouldn't be able to sit on the grass and everything so we're gonna go to the Jardin de Luxembourg so I came back to uh, it's nearby the movie theater where I was just <laughs> like half an hour before <laughs> and my mission is to find a supermarket or a market of sorts so I can get some chips some beer and something sweet so we can sit down and enjoy ourselves in the sun a little bit Então, a gente ia no parque, não deu certo, a cidade tá um inferno por causa dos Jogos Olímpicos. Eles vão contribuir, gente. Ela é tímida, ela não quer aparecer. E aí agora, o que a gente vai fazer? A gente vai pro Butchomon. Ah, é, a gente vai no Oak Berry, que é um negócio de açaí. Tá só o caos. Eu tinha planejado uma coisa pro vlog de hoje, que eu ia sentar lá no Jargon do Luxemburgo. Prometeu nada, mas tá entregando <risos> tudo. Entregando tudo. Tudo ao contrário. Que eu ia lá, ia desenhar, sei lá, ficar introspectiva na minha bolha. Aí essa gata aqui... Que só frente. Só, 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 as, só as autistas online. Só as autistas online. Só as autistas online, gente, é sobre isso. Ai, Deus me perdoe. Deus. Não acredito em Deus. Off. Abafa. 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 Mas é isso, vamos tomar um açaí. Muito tempo que eu não tomo um açaí. E aí, é isso, gente. A vida parisiense. Parisian girls. Hoje um dos meus é uma que mora em Arsoté e a outra que mora lá no final. Lá em Marne, na Vallée. A única que mora em 
rica parisiense, ó. Eu mesmo. Rica, que eu mora no Vantiena. 19 anos. 19 quase. Com judeus. Com judeus, é. <risos> E conhece o Sheik, né, do, do bairro. Já, inclusive, já me convidaram pra fazer uma tour em Dubai. Ah! ah eu fui. Ah! Mas confiscaram meu telefone. Mas morri. <risos> morri. Vamos tomar um açaí. Mostra o seu açaí, entendeu? Tá Ai, que delícia! O meu não tem frutinha. Tem sim, tem um pouco. Yesterday with Tadeu, it was really a lot of fun. We changed plans multiple times and in the end, turned out that I didn't do what I first planned, which was sitting at some park and drawing. I didn't get any drawings done. <laughs> Please don't mind me because this is summer. It is really hot outside. Um, but today, today it is a new moon. It is uh, my offering day and I'm gonna teach you how to make a very like classic dessert kind of thing, which is pears in wine or in French, poire au vin. This is uh, actually the very first offering that I've ever done to my entities. So today I am going to repeat the, the offering, the process, and I'm gonna take you with me. So you're gonna learn how to make that dessert while I offer it to my entities. Let's go. <laughs> So how is this dessert going to be done? We are going to need four, I am doing it with four pairs, but you can also do it with six. Then you are also going to need a bottle of red wine, any red wine that you prefer, 500 milliliters of water, not the water that I put the pears in, well, it could be, but you are going to need some water to put inside of the pan for the cooking process because the wine alone would like evaporate too fast and you need to cook those pears for 40 minutes. So some water in there to help the process, the cooking process. And once you peel the pears, you are going to need to put them inside of some water so they don't get dark, okay? So this dessert is going to be there. I'm gonna set a timer for 40 minutes and the dessert is going to be there cooking 
for all that time. Uh, then I'm gonna let it cool down. I'm gonna go to my pole dance class because I'm back to pole this month, finally. And when I come back, I'm going to do the offerings. Uh, if you make this dessert for yourself, you can eat it with ice cream. It is delicious, like vanilla ice cream, trust me you're gonna be surprised because it is something very simple, very easy, just a few ingredients, and it is really delicious. Now in the summer with some ice cream, it's amazing. You can also add in the pot a cinnamon stick or maybe some cardamom, anything that you like. I just put some clover because one of my entities doesn't like cinnamon, so I'm not gonna put it in there. But otherwise, you, you have the freedom of adding any kind of seasoning, any kind, any kind of uh, spice that you like. Now the cooking process is almost done. Yeah, it's a little bit messy. You're gonna have some wine all over, but you are going to notice that the, like, the juice is a little bit thicker and the pears will turn red, as you can see here. The cooking is almost done. It's like five more minutes to go. I'm gonna let it finish, cover it up with the lid, put the lid on go. I will let it cool down so when I come back from my class it's going to be in a good temperature. I'm gonna offer three pairs and I'm gonna eat one myself. This is another day, another sleigh. I am free again. I am enjoying a day off walking around in Paris, feeling very Parisian. <laughs> I just came out of the movie theater. I was watching Borderlands and I was given this little thing. It's an ice cream ball with, it's called Little Moons. The lady lost looking for the movie theaters. I hope she finds them because all the movie theaters are that way. Anyway, so I am going to showcase this Little Moons because I was given for free a little ice cream ball. It was really good. It was very good. But yeah, I watched Borderlands. I found it very entertaining. Bonjour. Ça va et vous? Merci. Vous voulez pas vous installer comme ça, vous allez faire venir les clients. Salut. <rire> non, merci, je vais au jardin. Au jardin de Luxembourg. 
euh, pour m'asseoir. Euh... Parce que quoi qu'il en soit, vous allez faire fanny les fleurs là-bas avec la beauté que vous êtes. <rire> Merci. Ça, incroyable. Merci beaucoup. Ciao. 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 <rire> I hate. So this part, I'm gonna have to help my editor with the subtitles <laughs> because Juan does not speak French. <laughs> So anyway, I forgot what I was saying and I need to look on the map where I'm going. <laughs> oh, let me show you something that I, I think is really nice. So over here in France, if you have a book that you don't want anymore, you can take it to like public uh, spaces like here and put the book in the boîte à livre so other people can take a look and take your book if they want to. There's nothing very interesting here now. There's something, oh look, Bon Jovi. Those looks like vinyls. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, look, it's vinyls. I'm taking some. What am I gonna do with this? I don't know, but I'm taking some. Let's see, so Bon Jovi. Who the hell is Frida? It's not Frida Kahlo. Oh look, Roxette. Must have been love, but it's over now. I don't know many of those artists. Child come away. Okay, cool. Oh well, there are many. I think it belonged to Mr. Frédéric Dupont. Thank you, Mr. Frédéric. David Holiday. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm taking this one. I think that Roxette as well because it's such a classic. Must have been love when it's over now. Must have been good but I've lost it somehow. the only Brazilian around here. as a vegan for now <laughs> I'm sorry you saw my throat now <laughs> life is good I needed a day off look at that Look at that, they have bees. That's really cool, they have a bee thing. Here. I'm not taking it, that one is too long.
So I really like the Luxembourg garden. I think it is beautiful. It's a stunning place and it's convenient for me to come here and the location in itself. But there's one thing that I don't like about this garden. So usually when you, when you go to parks in Paris, uh, you can sit on the grass and that's a very pleasurable thing to do. However, over here, it is forbidden to go on the grass. There's like one or two specific parts where you can sit on the grass so usually it's overcrowded and you can't like lay down back onto a tree which is something that i really like to do so i'm tempted to go to parc monceau which is a park that i used to go to a lot when i was an au pair because i lived in that neighborhood but it's like half an hour from here it stays open until nine now it's 10 past 6. I don't know. I don't know if I should because it's pretty nice over here also. So I, I don't know if I should try and go there. You see, there's nobody on the grass except for the pigeons. They're having a good time over there. And right here, there's a sign saying that it is forbidden to go on the grass. So yeah, I'm conflicted. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna think. So after some reflection, I came to the conclusion that today I don't have the... My God, I'm walking around with dried ice cream on my face. What's wrong with me? <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Anyway, as I was saying, after some consideration, I decided to install myself like like so and i'm just gonna read a little bit i'm reading of blood and bones which is a very good book by the way and if i use a little bit of creativity i can also draw with this setting i have a folder with me i think it could work but yeah i don't have the energy to go to the back monster today oh sorry for the wind um because it's really far i would have to take like two metro lines and then afterwards to go back back home it would be very long so so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a while and bloom where I'm planted. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. 